Hi there, it's Professor Monty, and we're talking about how to solve radical equations when there's only one radical. Okay, I wrote down the steps here. Let's go over and see what the process is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the radical, meaning get the radical all by itself on one side of the equation. Then we're going to square the radical, square both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical. And if it's a cubed root, we cube it, whatever is appropriate to get rid of the radical. And then we're just going to solve whatever's remaining. But the key to this is once we've done that, we have to check the solution back in the original equation. Sometimes we'll do everything correct, but when we plug it back in, it doesn't check. It's called an extraneous solution. Any extraneous solutions we have to throw out. If we don't get any equations or any solutions that work, then no solution would be our answer. But let's look at a few problems. Okay, I've got square root of 2x plus 7 equals 3. The square root's already all by itself, the radical's by itself, so I'm just going to go ahead and straight away and square both sides. And to save room, I'm just going to square it here. I'm not going to actually square it in that step and show that step, but what's in black, I want to leave there so that we know what to plug back in as the original equation to check our solutions. But when I square the square root, I really, those cancel out, I just get 2x plus 7 and then equals 9. And now there's no radical left. I'm just going to go ahead and solve that. 2x equals 2, divide both sides by 2, x equals 1. I think that's my answer. I just need to check it and make sure it works. Remember, in the original problem. So I'm going to check it. And I go 2 times 1 plus 7. I've got that square root equals 3. So before I've squared it. So let's see, that's 2 plus 7 is 9. That's the square root of 9 equals 3, which does check. So that means that is the right answer. And I'll go ahead and box that. Okay, similar problem here. We just have a cube root. It's already isolated. I'm going to cube both sides this time. And so the cube root cancels the cube. I get x minus 5 equals 2 cubed is 8. And then in this case, I'm just going to add 5 x equals 13. I'm just going to plug that in in my head. So let's see. I've got 13 minus 5 is 8, and the cube root of 8 is 2. It does check. I'll put a little check mark next to it to say I checked it, but it does check. Okay. And then the last one right up here, this time I wanted to show you one where the square root wasn't all by itself. So notice this time it's a negative on that side, but once I add the 6 to isolate the radical, I get the square root of x plus 4 equals 3, and then I go about what I did before. I'm going to square both sides. That gives me x plus 4. What it really gives me, if you remember from before, it gives me the absolute value of x plus 4. That's why sometimes the answer won't work. So anyway, we get around that. We don't have to put the absolute value because we're going to check the solutions. And so I get x equals 5. Again, I'm going to check 5 plus 4 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. It does check. So do make sure you check. I'm going to do, a, do another video where we have two radicals in the equation. And I'll pick one out there where at least one of the answers is extraneous. So if we didn't check, we would have got the wrong answer. 